depending when I post this, I would say for the last two or three weeks, perhaps, as it seems, I was having problem after problem after problem like wow. And if I were to, or if I would have contemplated on those problems and maybe a little, maybe some problems now, but if I were to contemplate on those past problems, how can I say that? If I were to contemplate on those problems back then and really 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 think about them I probably would have been more stressed probably depressed maybe more angry probably start that self-pity mess like feeling sorry for myself you know I think that is a very useless thing like to start feeling sorry I don't like that like that can lead to I think worse things that self-pity stuff man be very careful of that I learned, I would say, probably some years ago, don't think about your problems until you have to. But as a man of God, not only that, don't think about your problems when you have to, until you have to, I mean. Place your mind on Jesus Christ. If I have problems and I can't do any more than what I have already tried to resolve my problems, why well, think about it? If I can't do anything else to fix my problems, why continue to think about them? Why? If my problems, if thinking about my problems are going to make me so angry, so mad, so depressed, or whatever else like that, why choose to think so much about my problems? If, let me be real in this, if I will start cutting my wrist because of thinking about problems, why do it? If I will think about killing myself because of some things that happened to me in the past, why think about it? Don't I have a choice to think about what I want? Like, what is something really gross? Like, I guess, eating parasites, right? Now, if a random thought of eating parasites came to my mind, I think I have the choice to either continue thinking about it or take it out of my mind, right? Even though it may seem that thought is intrusive. If, what else? is something nasty. If someone 
chopping another person's leg off comes to my mind, I believe I have a choice to change my thoughts, right? So, ah, uh, okay. So, even if a thought comes to your mind about what happened to you in the past, can't you change your thoughts? Why choose to think about it and now you want to kill yourself? Now you want to cut your wrist and cut your legs and cut your ankles and cut your flesh. Now you want to drink poison or do some really unnecessary stuff. Place your thoughts off yourself and place them on God. This is what helps me. This is what helps me. I don't want to stay depressed. I don't want to cry every day and like uh, a certain time of the year, I start crying more and more and more. Like, I don't want to be that way. I don't want to always be angry or in a bad attitude. Right? Why? You don't have to be. Stop thinking so much about the past. Well, Kevin, those thoughts continue to come to my mind. Can't you push them out? Can't you really, even if you have to place so much effort to change your mind, isn't it worth the effort? I believe so, right? Look now, the past is the past. I remember faintly, I guess, I think some years back, I used to, something happened where I think I was betrayed by a person or someone, uh, I think maybe not that. I think some years ago, I forget what, but I must have felt someone wronged me. Okay. I was telling a person about it and that person told me in so many words, Kevin, the past is the past. Pretty much telling me to forget about it. And I think that made me so angry. Like, how can you say forget about it? Or the past is the past when that person wronged me. When that person, I believe that person may have emotionally hurt me. That person was right. That person is truly right. The past is the past. Forget about it. As in, release those or get rid of those emotions. I am not saying you have to be their friend you have to offer them some tea and cookies. I am not saying that. But stop reliving the past. Stop staying in the past, if I am saying that right. Remove yourself from it. Move on. It is time to move on like myself. Yes, I have been wronged in life. I have been, 
but I also wronged many or some. So if I have wronged some, how can I look down or condemn anyone? How? I have done so much wrong in the past. So how can I have the right and say, I hope that person goes to hell. I hope that person gets beat up. I hope that person die. When I have done so much wrong too. So how can I continue? Listen now. So how can I continue thinking about the past, pitying myself about something someone have done to me when I did so much wrong myself. Like how strange is that? How can I see my wrong as so less and see other people's wrongs larger? Isn't that like, what is that? What name is that? Like, my wrong doesn't stink, but your wrong is so much worse. What is that? So you are over there crying. You are over there wanting to get drunk and cut your wrist and cut your legs and kill yourself or stay depressed and stuff like that, while you may still be continuing wronging other people. Why not think about the wrong you are or you have been doing to people? Why not think about that? As it seems, you have to focus primarily on yourself. I have done great wrong. Yes, I have not killed anyone. Yes, I have not did this or that, but I have done wrong. I wronged people. Time to move on. The past is the past. Move on. Let me stop here. God bless you.